Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to look at lots of examples for the type of math question you might get in a hydraulics uh, question. This is for your physics GCSE. Now if you haven't looked at any of my previous videos on how to do the math questions in physics GCSE um, I suggest you do so because these are the rules that I'm going to be using to follow to answer these questions and um, this is what I teach my students to do. But just briefly, when we do maths questions, they can be anywhere from two to five marks. I always mark my students' um, maths questions that I make up for them at the answer four, giving the first mark for the formula, the second mark for plugging the numbers, the third mark for doing the math, and the fourth mark for units. Okay, so this is our first question. Um, a boat applies a 70 newton force to a lake. The bottom of the boat covers an area of 1.2 meters squared. Find the pressure. Now I know this isn't uh, directly about hydraulics, but exactly the same mass is going on here. So um, up here we have our rules that I'd like us to follow when we are doing these math questions. Um, a really good thing for you to do would be to look at the question pause the video, have a go yourself, and then come back, look at my working out, and hopefully you've got the right answer. So I have my pen. I want you to circle all of the numbers in the equation. This here is force. Here we have area. Then if we go to our formula sheet and find the equation that we're going to be using. Now we're only going to be using one equation today. That is pressure equals force over area and plug the numbers in. So 70 divided by 1.2 and I am doing these uh, calculations as well so if you notice any mistakes that I make please do tell me. And my calculator says that it's 58.3 pascals. I'm going to keep working through all of these equations in exactly the same way. I'd like you to pause, have a go yourself, and then come back and check your answer. So I have my pen. Here are the um, numbers in the equation. So this is my force. This is my area. And you will notice that area is normally in meters squared. Um, but here the question is in centimetres squared. So there are two things the exam board could ask you to do. And the more likely one is that they want the unit for pressure in newtons per centimetre squared. I've seen them do that quite a lot. Um, for those of you aiming for the higher tier, I'm just going to put over here that two centimetres into meters squared, you need to divide by 10,000. And the reason it's 10,000 and not 100 is because you have 100 this way and 100 that way when we are doing um, area. Right, so back to our question. Um, what is pressure? The force is uh, 7 newtons and the area is 25 centimeters squared. So pressure equals force divided by area. Uh, Force is 7 newtons, our area is oh, there we go, 25. So 7 divided by 25 equals 0 0.28, and this is going to be non standard units here, so it's newtons per centimeter squared. Um, I have seen the exam board use um, this kind of annotation quite a lot before um, but the traditional unit for pressure is pascals. So here are my numbers. Um, this is, we're, the questions are going to get harder as we're going along. We are now starting to move into probably the higher tier um, territory because we're going to need to do a bit of rearranging of the equations. So here we have pressure. Here we have area, and the equation is pressure equals force divided by area, but we're going to need to rearrange this a bit so we can find the force it's going to be applied. So if I move A up to this side, 
I have um, pressure times area equals force. So force is going to equal 457 times 0 0.6. And that equals 274.2 newtons. Don't forget to put those units on there. Okay, questions are starting to get more complicated now. They want us to find two things. We need to find the pressure and the uh, force on the second piston. So uh, let me circle all of my numbers, and that should be a capital N. So I have force, area, and area. So let's find the uh, pressure on the first piston. So pressure equals force divided by area. So we have 15 divided by 0 0.0005, which equals... 30,000 pascals and now we need to find the force on the second piston so we use the same equation pressure equals force divided by area we need to rearrange the equation so it's pressure times area equals force and let me just flip that round because that's the way that I like to see them done we have the pressure from the previous part times the area which is equal 36 newtons. Now, in this type of two-part question, if you got the first part wrong and then you had to use your answer for the first part for the second part, that would be absolutely fine. Um, well, uh, you'd only lose maybe one, maybe two marks because the examiners can do something called an error carried forward. They can see where you've made a mistake and you only lose um, a couple of marks for it. You don't keep losing marks for it. But you have to make sure your work is laid out clearly so the examiner can follow what you're doing. Okay, so this is an exam question and they want the answer in newtons per centimetre squared. Um, so I circle my numbers. This is force. This is area. Pressure equals force over area, so that is 80 divided by 50, which makes 1.6, not pascals, it makes 1.6 newtons per centimetre squared. Another exam question here, but they've given you a picture to interpret, treat it exactly the same way. Here are our numbers. This is the force, this is the area, and again they want the answer in newtons per centimetre squared. They tell you this in the exam question. So pressure equals force divided by area, that is 50 divided by 10. Now some of you are going to be tempted to try and answer this question without using a calculator. I always want my students to do the simplest sums using a calculator. Exams are very high pressure situations. I don't want you to lose marks because you've done a really simple sum incorrectly due to the stress. You have a calculator there in front of you. Use it. So this question, again, is going to require a little bit of manipulation of the equation. Here are my numbers. Force. Nope, sorry. Pressure. And this is our area. The equation is pressure equals force divided by area. I need to manipulate that a little bit. I need the A to be up over this side. It says pressure times area equals force. Pressure is 20. The area is 5.5. 
5.2, 20 times 5.2 equals 104 newtons. Now you'll notice I'm not paying a lot of attention to the words in these questions, mainly because they kind of don't really matter. As long as you can use the numbers correctly and use the equation correctly, um, the, the whether you're lifting a car or whether you're lifting an elephant is really irrelevant. So this is another exam question. So we have a pressure here and an area here. And they want you to work out the force. So pressure equals force divided by area. We need the area to be up on the other side. That makes the equation force equals pressure times area. So we get force equals 1.5 times 10 to the 6 times 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Mm. Now you may not be very familiar with the um, the way they've written the numbers down here. This is a really tricky question. The mark scheme for this question specifically says that they want the numbers written this way. You will lose marks if you try and write out the numbers in standard form. And this equals 84 newtons. So I have to start this slide by admitting this is the second uh, version of the video because my class 11 sodium pointed out that I actually made a mistake. So first thing we need to do is to circle our um, numbers. Uh, kilograms is mass and centimetre squared is area. And this is uh, a question that is way beyond GCSE. This is um, an A-level style question because you have to do quite a bit of thinking before we even get um, to the answer. So if we start with the area first, this is in centimetres squared and I would like my answer in Pascal so I want you to convert it into metres squared. And to do that, if you can remember, we need to divide it by 10,000. So 2 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.0002. And um, for those of you that are paying attention, it says that each of her feet has an area of two centimetres and she has four feet, so we need to times that by four, which gives an answer of 0 0.0008 metres squared. Now the mass here is in kilograms, we need to convert this into newtons, so weight equals mass times gravity. Um, the weight is going to give us an answer in newtons. So weight equals 1.8 times 10, which is the um, uh, value for gravity on Earth. So her weight equals 18 newtons. So pressure equals force over area. That gives us 18 divided by 0 0.0008. 18 divided by 0 0.0008 equals 22500 pascals. Thank you, 11 Sodium, for pointing out my mistake to me. If you've made it this far and you managed to get the correct answer for this and um, without any help from me, uh, excellent work, well done, and give yourself a little shout out in the comments so I can congratulate you.